Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you guys just a recap and everything that happened in LA Finals for Season 1 Guns of Boom. Now, as you guys know, they had an event like two weeks ago, I believe now, in this state. It was the finals of Season 1. It was Europe, top four European teams versus the top four NA teams. Now, this event was brought to you by ESL and Game Insight. So, shout outs to them for... This event, it was great, amazing. You guys did a wonderful job. And also, shout outs to all the fans and people that, you know, showed the support, friends that showed, our, showed the support online, social media. You know, guys, I, I saw a lot of the messages and, you know, I felt a lot of love from you guys. So thank you guys so much for all the support with Team V. I, you know, all of us appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, all the players, we all showed up Thursday. All the pro players pretty much showed up on Thursday. Some of them actually showed up like 1 a.m. on Friday. I think some of the European players, they had like a crazy flight time for like some of them 20 plus hours. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. But, you know, props to them for, you know, going through with it. And yeah, so most of us showed up Thursday, got situated at our hotels. We met each, we met each other for the first time. At least a lot of us have and it was funny man it was it was funny you know trying to find out who's who and then the only way we knew was by you know letting them know our our in-game names so that was pretty funny it was a little awkward at first but eventually you know everybody started knowing who who was who but i think we all kept calling each other by our in-game name it was it was funny a little awkward but at the end of the day we all got along it's great meeting everybody all the uh, other NA teams and European teams you guys are all awesome and quick little funny story about you know nicknames and stuff like that um, when we got to the hotel I think crew up from our team TV was the first one to show up from our team and then you know I was second but I hadn't met corrupt yet and then not a team player and Jennifer the wind were coming from the shuttle and I ended up meeting corrupt after he he came down to the lobby and then i said what's up you know said you know who i am and it was like it was it was funny and then i think ninja and or not a team player and jen for the wind come through and i see who i, I didn't had a feeling of who they were so i was already like hey what's up and then we they came over i'll say hey yeah it's me you know like jen tricks and like, yeah no you have some player jen he was just like hey, hey, hey. <laughs> very awkward exchange anyways so corrupt was right there sitting next to me it was corrupt in front of me uh not a team player and jen they were right there <laughs> and then he just said like what's up to corrupt but he, corrupt didn't even say who he was so <laughs> not a team player he was like he was talking to me, yo, uh, Jen, where's, where's Corrupt? <laughs> and I was cracking up, dude, freaking, because Corrupt was sitting right next to him. <laughs> and he was just like, where's Corrupt? I was like, bro, he's right there. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> to be fair, though, he thought uh, Corrupt was like an ESL employee or something. And because I think I was talking to the Lethal, the one of the announcers, he was like right there too, but. It was just funny. It was just a funny little story. He just he was like, where's corrupt? He was right next to him. I was like, yo, he's right there, bro. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways. So yeah, th yeah, Thursday we just situated, got our hotel rooms. Nothing really crazy happening. Just, you know, chilling. And Friday, man. Friday was like the first day, you know, getting to know what a land event experience is all about now. Friday was that media day. That media day was so long. It took forever. But, you know, there's eight teams. You got to take your time with every team. Everyone's got to do their interviews, pictures, all that stuff. So, yeah, you know, media day was, um, was it was dope. It was weird. It was very weird at first, you know, getting <laughs> getting interviewed in, like, different settings. It was different. It was very different. Some of us were, you know, not used to it for sure. I think a lot of us weren't used to it. 
being in front of a camera and having to talk and knowing that this is going to be, you know, shown to the world. So, like, all that was just bringing a lot of pressure, I think, uh, for a lot of us. So, yeah, I mean, it was it was it was hard getting used to at first. But, you know, once you get used to it, it was whatever. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun with the media day as far as pictures, you know, the the off screen or the out of sight shoots which were like you know those slow motion videos of us walking and things like that that was that was cool that was cool going out and you know being able to do those shoots outside that was fun and yeah we just took a lot of pictures we got to use the new phones i need these new phones man these um we we're using the iphone 7 and i know the iphone 7 isn't a newer phone but for a lot of us it was i think a lot of players were coming from either you know the newer iPhones and older iPhones or Android and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure some of the teams actually probably had already um, a lot of the European teams had experience with the iPhone 7 Plus and then some of them might have been playing on it. I don't know. I think it was different for everybody. Some of us got used to it quicker. Some of us took a little longer just because you know it's a different screen. It's bigger. You got to reconfigure your knife buttons and all the stuff that you're used to on your own device so unfortunately we couldn't play on our own device but i get it you know they just don't want to risk anything you know going wrong with the devices and i think it would just be a much bigger issue if sometimes if we use our own devices just because you know things could happen and what can they do they can't replace it on on the spot if you know your device is messed up or something so i kind of get it but yeah it took some getting used to personally even though I have already you know, used to iOS and stuff like that, it took a little getting used to just because it was it was bigger, it was different, and you know, my fingers kept getting stuck on it, like the screen, like not move. I don't know it was weird. It was very weird, but eventually, you know, we had a couple hours with it on Friday to practice, and we were screaming at the teams, and um, I think two of our players actually came had to switch over from that from androids to ios so i know the switch was a little difficult at first but i think they got it pretty well now the phones themselves they were great they didn't have too much issues i think on the other teams had issues more issues compared to our team i think the other teams had like dimming issues or overheating issues and stuff like that and as far as my phone my phone was great it was it was dope it was it was um I didn't have any troubles with it. And then fun little fact, I think Lord Mano ended up using my phone for the rest of the tournament after we got knocked out. Yeah, I think he uh, he used, he started, uh, and then someone else from Black Bulls used um, one of our teammates' phones to, to play the rest of the tournament because their phones were just having issues. So they had to, you know, find another phone. So, yeah, anyways, the phones are okay overall. They weren't, they weren't the worst and i did the best and i hope you know we'll see what they decide to do for season two what they you know what devices they use if they use the same one i don't think i'll have a problem with it myself personally but it's whatever anyway so we got friday we got to do that we got to scream a lot of other teams so we got a, a sneak preview towards like the other competition that was there so that was cool so we, yeah next day next day saturday saturday was the big day and saturday was the tournament day so you know a lot more on the line and we had to be ready so our our match was against back to back now back to back was the number three seed coming out of europe i believe and they're a pretty strong team man overall we already knew that they were gonna be like that team we needed to beat first in order to you know like it's like we had a big task up like right off the bat for sure with back to back and you know back to back is a great team man they ended up placing second at the event and yeah props to them man they played very well so our match against back to back we it was weird at first guys like we had a our picks and bands were so like i don't know so they ended up making us choose our bands first so you know all our bands actually so we had to ban every map that we didn't want to play first basically between the two teams and it was just very weird because we used to like we used to the band band pick pick band band you know all that stuff so banning all the maps and then having to choose from what was left over was very weird so that threw us off and then the team one and team two thing threw us off too because i thought 
uh, we thought we could choose what side we wanted and then we stuck with that side but even if we didn't we thought we were going to beat team one just because of our, our seed basically we were a higher seed than them so that didn't happen we ended up being team two so it was very very awkward so our picks and bands were a little messed up because we did not want to play military but we ended up playing military and, and yeah you guys if you guys watch the stream you guys know what happened in military anyways i'll get into that in a little bit so yeah, overall, we ended up losing 2-1 to back-to-back. -to -back. They beat us on Gobsome Station, which was a very close match till the very end. We were a little disappointed with the loss, but we kept our you know, spirits up, and we ended up winning a second map on Europe Square, which we played very well on that weekend. But it wasn't enough, because then we had to play military. In our military, we didn't have a strat. Unfortunately, it, you know, Without having a strat on that map, we got we got we got destroyed. <laughs> they trapped us very well. They kept the pressure very well, and you guys saw the stream. They just you know they kept locked us down very well. And by the time we got out, it was too late. So we ended up losing military pretty pretty convincingly, very convincingly, and we were knocked down to this bracket where we had to face off amped up. Now amped up ended up losing to Black Bulls, I believe, 2-0. If not, um, I forgot, but uh, Amped Up was our, our second match of the day, and this was a must-win match for us, so we were still confident because we knew we, we beat Amped Up uh, a lot more than they beat us during the, you know, go forwards and stuff like that. So we were pretty confident um, going into this match, and, you know, that first map, we got Europe Square. It was uh, the three maps with Europe Square, Skyscrapers, and... Atrium, so yeah, you know, we were confident. We ended up losing 2 1 to Amped Up, and we got knocked out. Unfortunately, first map we lost. Oh uh, no, first map we won. My bad. First map we won, it was close, mate. Uh, close game. Second map, they pulled out a fast one on us and ended up, um, you know, playing very, very, very passively, and it worked for them, and they ended up knocking us out. Or, no, not yet, they didn't end up knocking us out. Yet. <laughs> Well, they ended up beating us in that map, and we were 1-1, one, one, and then Atrium was just a cluster of a lot of things where we couldn't just, you know, we, our comms were just messed up. We, we couldn't decide where to go. We were still thinking about the last match and thinking, oh, we would have won. So it was just a lot of things going on that pretty much ended up being our demise, and we ended up losing to Amped Up, and we moved forward. But unfortunately, we got knocked out first, and... Yeah, man, it was it was it was a it was a low point of pretty much the whole weekend. Knowing you know we were done, you know that was it. That was uh, that was that was it for us. There's no Sunday playing for us, and you know it was just it was just we were you know it was, it was like an awkward time, you know, because for a lot of us, you know, like I said, it's our first experience at a, at a land event, and now taking a land event loss and knowing you're out of the land event tournament it was just you know it was, it was different than losing you know online to you know it was just different and you know we all took it pretty hard because like i said we had high expectations but nevertheless you know little by little you know time heals all wounds so you know we we ended up you know being able to move on from it we just were out there supporting all the na teams obviously <laughs> but yeah you know moving on from it we we're just supporting the na teams yakuza hyped up and at the end of the day even though they beat us but um yeah you know shout outs to all the na teams that were able to you know show them what's up you know yakuza got third place props to them they did very well freaking all these guys played very well. Freaking Optimus, the <laughs> the unstoppable. Thanos was playing really good. All these guys were playing really, really well. So shout outs to them. Shout outs to Hyped Up and for our first tournament, you know, being able to experience this, we didn't do too bad. We obviously came in with higher expectations, but you know, now with this um, experience that we have. I think I feel really confident going forward and to hopefully this next event that's coming up for season two. So as far as season two, guys, if you don't know, 
I guess I'll tell you now, I'm no longer in, as part of Team V. Um, I don't know if Team V is still going to be a team for Season 2, if there's going to be a Team V for Season 2, I mean. But as far as me and Corrupt, we have decided to join Hyped Up for Season 2 with Stark, Venom, Ariel, and Coach User. So that's a pretty good squad. It's a solid squad. Um, we've been playing for a while now, screaming, and, and everything's going well so far. So make sure you guys, you know, follow all the social medias for Hyped Up, all our new teammates' um, social medias. I'll put those um, in the description below. So make sure you guys are following them. Make sure you guys are following the pages. Um, yeah, so Hyped Up for Season 2. What can I say? It's, you know, it's a, it's a solid squad. I'm confident with the squad. Looking forward to playing all these um, new NA teams showing up. So keep on the lookout for this new Hyped Up team. And, you know, I just want to give a big, big, big shout out to our um, our ex-teammates from Team V. Um, a lot of team player. And Jen for the win. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. Very talented individual players. And, you know, we had such good times. It was amazing. Thank you guys so much for everything. You guys are great friends. I'm glad to have met um, both of you and everybody from Team V Corrupt, too. Um, glad I met you guys in person, man. You, you know, made new friends, um, made new friends with everybody as far as NA and Europe. You guys were all freaking super awesome. Everyone got along so well. It's, it was it was crazy, you know. You know, you know how it is online. A lot of people talking crap on this and that, but at the end of the day, we all got along very well. And I know NA teams are looking for a redemption for season two, and yeah, we're coming for that. You know, we. Hey, we're coming for that redemption. We got no excuses now as far as, you know, oh, we don't have any experience in land events and stuff like that. So there's no excuses coming into the season two. So looking forward to it. I'm very excited for the future and guns of boom. Shout outs again to Game Insight, ESL. Hope nothing but the best for them in season two. I'm just very, very, like, you know, optimistic with everything. Looking forward to it all things coming to this new year it's, it's going to be a great year for guns and boom esports and i'm excited to be a part of it guys thank you guys so much for all the support um you know online and your messages comments all that stuff guys i appreciate it so much thank you guys i hope you guys um you guys can support us in this new uh hyped up team thank you guys so much for everything i hope we can give you guys a show and yeah, with that said, guys, um, that's going to do it for me today. In this video, I'm going to try to be more on this YouTube grind. I know I'm like sometimes saying, oh, I'm going to put out videos. But, you know, some, uh, the laziness sucks sometimes. You just don't want to do stuff. And you know you want to do it, but you don't. So, But stay tuned, guys. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for these new videos that are going to come very soon so thank you guys so much once again and i'll see you guys on the next one peace